BMC Remedy IT Service Management Introduction to Data Management Hello, my name is Carl Miller. I'm a Product Manager at BMC Software, and I wanted to take this opportunity to show you some quick features of our new data management enhancements released with Remedy 8.1. What you see on the screen is the login screen for our 8.1 uh, instance of Remedy in our application stack, and I'm going to log in, uh, introduce you quickly to our spreadsheet manager and execute a job to load some data. So let's get started. So the first thing I have to do is, of course, authenticate to the system and log in. And we'll see the, the regular overview console. If you notice now, we have the BMC data management console. And the first thing we're going to do today is take a look at spreadsheet management. Spreadsheet management is a new enhancement that we've made to go through and provide you a number of BMC templates containing a lot of data sets and types that you can use to load information into your system. And since this is a relatively clean installation, uh, the only thing we're going to be using today will be some of our foundation templates. And the one that I'll be loading in just a second is actually derived from our company spreadsheet. So we can also use this, however, to attach user data to the system. So right now, we're going to go through and actually add a spreadsheet to it. And in this case, we're going to be creating a new company. But for right now, since all companies have to be associated with something, we're going to create this one for CalGrow. And this is actually foundation data I'll be loading of a company nature. And let's attach the spreadsheet. And I've left that on my desktop here. And you can see that I've already created a company spreadsheet here. Now, this actually contains about 70 or so companies that I'm going to load and update to the system. But the notable one for us is the Centauri systems. And we upload it, and you can now see the data has been attached to the site. Uh, if we go in and look very quickly, we can see that our application site is not loading anything other than the CalPro and Invention Inc. system, and we're going to change that very shortly. So now that we've loaded the Spreadsheet Manager, we are going to go through and create a job. Now, I've already configured my data management system, so it has all the necessary installation configuration done. And uh, we'll go through and create a new job. As I mentioned before, we've provided a number of templates out of the box. And we're going to use one of those right now. All jobs have to be tied to an operating company, uh, because we are using a special case of creating a new operating company. And I've logged in as a Calibro administrator. Uh, that's who's going to be executing this job. So we define a new template, a new job, and we're going to create from a BMC template to load the data for a company. And these are all very rapidly done out of the box. And if you look, you'll see that there's three different stages to a data management job. The first one we're concerned with, of course, is loading data. And if we come in here, we can see that our spreadsheet has already been attached. And we can just select it, and it will automatically attach it to the job, save it. Now that we save that step, we come back here, and we can take our job out of its draft status and declare that it's built and ready to run. We have the ability to go through and schedule jobs at different times and recurring jobs. But for today, we're just going to immediately execute and run this job. The job will take just a second to set up. And if you notice in the background, you'll see that the job has been queued and will start progressing in a few moments here. After the job finishes the load step where we're taking the data from our Excel spreadsheet and placing it into staging tables, uh, and it has to pass some basic validation before it goes into the staging tables, uh, it will progress to the next stage of operation, which is going through a validation step. And this is where we examine the data to make sure that referential integrity will be properly maintained as it moves in, into the uh, promoted to the final operating system. Operating environment. So right now, it's actually executing the job. This is kicking off an Atrium integrator job to extract the information from the spreadsheet and load it up. Now, my com operating companies, uh, as I mentioned, there's about 70 or 80 of them in there, so it'll take just a second for this to run. This is running in a lab environment for me. And the job is completed. 
and you can see that everything completes with no errors. We can actually go in here and look at each of the individual stats. And if there are statuses or error messages that come up, they will appear in these screens. Uh, we also have some enhanced error management capabilities in the console for things that come up with validation errors. Clearly, there's no errors in this case. But let's go through and look at our operating company again. And now we see we have the unconfigured Centauri system. And that concludes our first introduction to Remedy 8 and data management. Thank you. Have a good day.